he is responsible for one of the most popular Christmas songs of all time, which remained at number one for five weeks back in 1994. But viewers of The Great British Bake Off failed to recognize East 17's Tony Mortimer on Monday, as he performed Stay Another Day on the Christmas special. The singer, now 47, belted out a piano version of the famous hit with the help of the hosts, judges and contestants, to round off the festive episode of the Channel 4 show. Clad in a trademark white parka, complete with fluffy hood, Tony channeled his East 17 days as he performed the much-loved ballad in the famous Bake Off tent, with the judges and contestants singing along in front of the piano. However, despite his recognizable singing voice, Many viewers took to to express their confusion and shock over his appearance on the show. One kicked things off by writing, OMG is it that bloke from E17? GBBO while others added, no way. Is that Tony Mortimer? And whoa whoa whoa. Tony is old. GBBO E17. Other viewers chimed in, actual Tony Mortimer on GBBO and Tony Mortimer Claxon. GBBO. While other disbelieving fans wrote in shock, what the hell happened to Tony Mortimer and GBBO was great. East 17 crossover was. Unexpected. However, many East 17 supporters were quick to express their joy at his appearance, and confess they were still big fans of the group. His stripped-back rendition of the ballad came after hosts Sandy Toxvig and Noel Fielding and judges Paul Hollywood and Prue Leith performed a parody of the hit, to open the festive episode. Clad in matching white hooded coats, much like the band in the music video, the foursome hilariously transformed into Yeast 17, and pretended to perform the song. Others were quick to agree, writing, I could easily watch Paul, Prue, Noel and Sandy reenact East 17 for an hour and even GBBO does East 17 is already the highlight of 2018. Stay Another Day was the Waltham Stowe-based band's only chart-topping single, but it remained in the top spot for five weeks in 1994, and was the Christmas number one of that year. The hip-hop troupe also found success with their hits House of Love, It's Alright and If You Ever, a duet with Gabrielle, before they split amid a drug controversy in 1997. The band briefly reformed in 2006 and 2010, but Tony has since embarked on a new career as a record producer at his studio in Essex. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.